What's up guys, it is the Lumberjacks Airsoft here, and uh, today we're going to be doing a review on the GNG Combat Machine. Um, let's just hop right in and take a look. Yeah, let's go ahead, bust her open, take a look at this uh, beautiful gun. Okay, so, we open her up, and <laughs> let's take a look. And there's nothing in the box. That's because... <laughs> I think we smacked the camera on we that We just smacked the camera. We smacked the light. That's because the gun's right here. Um, to be honest, we're doing a little different review. Uh, we've already used this gun. Our intention behind this review was to buy the gun, use it, get some gameplay, see how we like it, how it holds up, and then tell you guys about it, rather than opening up the box and giving rough estimates on how we think it runs. So we're going to go ahead and... Some specs. So we're going to... Yeah, I guess we can start with specs here. So... We're just going to start out, this gun right here is the G&G &G Combat Machine CM16 SRXL. Jeez, that is a lot. Uh, this is based off in What? That's a mouthful. Yeah, that is a mouthful. It's... This one is an M4 right here, and this model that we have in front of us that you're looking at right now is in Battleship Gray color. But they come in a ton of different colors. They have Desert Tan, just the normal black, obviously the Battleship Gray. Then they also have a couple different ones we'll show on the screen right here, which are red and black and blue and black that just add a little bit of accent to it. They look super sick. Honestly, get one. They yeah, look so I mean, cool. they look pretty good. They look so cool. I like cool. how they look. Yeah. Uh, this one right here, we can run this one on an 11.1 LiPo battery. This has a 12-inch key mod rail system, and the average FPS measured with a .20 gram BB is 370 to 400 FPS. So that's pretty good right out of the box with no nothing done to it. Yeah, when we ran it at the field, we were able to get it at our the rifleman category, which is there's no minimum engagement distance. So it did chrono good enough to not have an engagement distance. Although some of you at your own fields, you might have some issues, as this gun does run a little bit hotter than usual. But that was with a .2 BB. Yeah, it depends on the gram of BB you're using and your field limits, so make sure to check that out before... Uh you figure out that you're shooting too hot for the day. That would really suck. That would really, really <laughs> suck. But the uh, length of this rifle right here is 875 millimeters. It is adjustable. We have a six, I think, uh, six pos position retractable stock. It's a version three stock from G&G. &G. And I think the beauty of it that G&G &G was able to meet with this stock is you don't have any stock shifting. You're not gonna accidentally bump your stock and suddenly slam it to the front. You actually kind of got to go through some steps to move it. And moving it isn't that hard. It's just a little loud and sounds like you're going to snap it. It sounds like it's going to snap, but it's just a strong spring in there. And it hasn't... Well, I haven't, I, blah, I haven't had any issues with it. So I think it adjusts just fine. Uh, we're going to continue with some specs here. This gun right here has semi, full auto, and safety. So your normal three selections. Uh, and then um, this has a programmable three round burst with what's called a MOSFET so we'll show a little b-roll of that too right now and so that can be programmed so you can have a three round burst and it's so. something like you switch it to semi and hold it down for a certain number of seconds and suddenly it's on oh wait no it's full auto I think it's like five seconds and it's it something like that we'll, and suddenly it's three round we'll go through that when we'll we uh, do we'll a shooting figure test out. <sighs> but uh, this gun right here it retails around three hundred and seven dollars so it is kind of on that higher end. Um, depending on when you're buying it, where you're buying it, it's going to vary, obviously. But on e-bike, it is $307 right now. So it is, it's on that little bit of a higher price range for an airsoft gun. But if it's something you're looking into, if that's your price range, then this might be a good gun for you. Yes. Uh, but we actually took it to Jackal 5, which was a Milsom event in Colorado. And this thing held up. It was, it was a, amazing. It was a beauty. It did great. A god. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised how well it did at a Milsom. Yeah. Being just abused like that and running around, falling, tripping, stuff like that. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, yes. And a cool feature. Cool feature on the stock. But that's kind of the basics of this gun. The, if you look at it, there is no orange tip on it. will see there is no orange tip on it and that is because we did end up pulling it off because we went to a Milsom with it we don't want to be that one dude there with an orange tip included with the gun 
you get these really nice GNG uh, pinhole uh, iron sights, which are really nice actually. With the pinhole iron sights, if you haven't ever used pinhole iron sights before, I recommend getting like a red dot or something like this, as they do take some getting used to, as the hole is a pinhole. <laughs> is a, literally a pinhole. It's about it the size so of a sewing needle, so. Tiny. Anywho, I think it's time we shoot one of each other. Yeah, let's go into the shooting test. Basically, you, we we put in the comments of our last video, who do you want to get shot? And the only two people that voted were us for each other. <laughs> so we're going to do a coin toss. A coin it. toss. <laughs> so let's go ahead and switch the shooting test. But first, coin toss. So tails is Caleb and heads is Justin. So let's go ahead and give it a toss. I'm scared. <laughs> A good one. Oh, you threw it right outside the, the camera. camera and it was tails. Let's give oh, it another. Gotta get it in camera. Here, you want to give it a toss? Yeah. I'm the mic. Okay, hold on. Oh. Let me... oh, are you kidding me? Oh, it's heads. Oh, I'm lucky. Simply because you threw it out of the camera range, I get shot. This was your <laughs> strategy. Alrighty. Well, uh, I don't. I don't know if that's focusing very well, but uh, that is heads right there. And so our good man Justin here. Let's go ahead and switch to a nice shooting video. Oh. See you guys there. Alrighty, so we're gonna use the actual, the uh, mag from the GNG just to make this a lot better, this high cap wind. All right, you ready? No. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's a... <sighs> That's an airsoft gun, all right. <laughs> That is... How to feel, what is chrono at? I'd say that's chronoing like... It's not a DMR, but it's freaking close. <laughs> it's... Uh, um, yeah, I'd say it's a rifleman. Oh, yeah. I've been airsofted. That... <laughs> Ow. All right, welcome back from the, uh, the shot to Justin's back. You guys saw the welt. <laughs> How to feel? Give us a uh, in-depth review. Um, so think of like an airsoft gun shooting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like. Fair enough, yeah. All right, well, thank you guys for watching today's review. Hopefully you guys learned something or enjoyed seeing Justin get shot. Yeah, you better have enjoyed that. <laughs> like the video and subscribe. I hate saying like the video and subscribe, but I got shot for this video. <laughs> So like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys later in our next video. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. Justin, I think, enjoyed this one a lot. Yeah, I had a super Amazing. great time today. It's so. phenomenal. It's not. So. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Peace.